Hey, thanks for tuning in and listening. And I hope you hear channel peace if you can find it. If you get to the end of the video, please hit the thumbs up, leave a comment and share. Much obliged. I want to continue speaking on issues um, that's in my feed. And the first one is this professor talks about oppressive status quo during her speech. And she was speaking of black faces in high places are not going to save us. And that's including every time there's uh, at the congressional hearings, have you noticed that when it's a negative vote, these individuals are black face. Uh, Austin is one of them. And then they have this black woman who's, who's always voting nay. And it's another black high up position military black face man that votes negative. Um, they use it black people. Have you noticed that? I have. So it's just, we just a tool in their hand, openly and willingly in, in high places. And no one can see the trickery of it. And I want to, uh, this truck is 85,000. Uh, black faces in high places are not going to save us. And with this, look at the black proponents of Cop City and Everyone is broke. Everyone is broke. And the car market is screaming it. It seems like the plan is for no one to be able to have a car, to be in a place of security, a home, or an apartment. No one to have food. So that is what's happening. These young people can't even buy a car. That's right, can't even. They say you don't have to say even. These young people can't buy a car. Nothing, I mean, they do have something under $15,000. You can catch a great deals because I'm stuck there too. Never to buy a car over $15,000. I'm just from the old school and refuse to do it. Always get low mileage five-year-old cars. You can find them. I was told that it don't get blown out until after 60,000 miles anyway. And then when you buy a new car, as soon as you drive it off the lot, it has devalued. So, but these young people, where are they going to live? How can you have a family when you don't have a place to live, can't, don't have a car, can't go to school, don't know what to go to school for? It doesn't look good. So, is something wrong with me for for sharing it? It doesn't look good. Everyone is not looking at the clowns juggling balls. They think about things like this. People are losing their mind. People are depressed and, and, and suicidal because they can't pay their lights, their gas, their water. They got children. They're living in their car, which I don't understand. How can children go to school if they don't have an address? All these things are happening right here in the USA to citizens. And in your face, they are allowing strangers to come over and reap all your benefits. It's, it's like they waiting for you to rebel. They telling you and they are marveling at your patience. They are. People are losing their minds and they know that. People are depressed. Peace if you can find it. And it's on purpose. It's on purpose. That's the thing. It's all been planned and it's working like a charm. And the religion is not helping. People keep praying. And they'll talk about something catastrophic that just happened. And I'll read the comments and somebody will be in the comments saying, Allah or Allah or Jesus or somebody help or have mercy. You still putting your faith in. There's a saying, prayer and religion cannot correct what it could not prevent. 
I mean, the worst has happened. So you asking the, the all nipper the all powerful, the all everything that saw everything unfolding and is unfolding, you still trusting him to help. What prayers have been answered? I need answers. I'm not getting it. And there's nothing wrong with me for thinking like this. I just marvel at those who are going through pure hell. It's, it's just, I, I don't get it. I just don't understand it anymore. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Peace if you can find it. Thanks for tuning in and listening.